they nah that's they gonna they gonna make they it. They look least like Kobe's double what they made last time on his next shoe, most likely. See what I'm saying? You know, made pushing close to ten million dollars on some bullshit and probably making appearances. You know what I'm saying? Quick ten in like a year and a half span, just because he started talking shit. So yeah, he did that. Mm, yeah. You get a check. All them ESPN uh, parents and shit, you get a check. You're not out there for no reason. You there because you're somebody. I wonder what that bag <laughs> like, but. It probably ain't outrageous, but it's a bag. Definitely take the bag. Bags over <laughs> every bag. Yo, who the fuck is Tay K, yo? Tay K, man, he got a. Uh, he in jail right now. It's a young boy. Uh, he's supposed to be trying to be a, a body. Said he shot a cop. So they shooting us? Yeah. Why they say he shot a cop though? Did he shoot the cop? Bro, I was told that he shot a cop. But everything I hear about it, they just saying that he's in jail. And he's innocent though. I see. I keep saying free TK. Is he gonna beat the? How? I, I I don't know, yo. The the shit is not clear at all. Like everything I've read, so I'm just trying to figure out. I keep saying everything. I keep saying this. Well, like, right now they're trying care. to push it back. Um, typically, when you're dealing with shit like that, you want to ask for continuances and this and that because you can like build your case um, against it. But they trying to push it back so they can charge him as uh, an adult because the nigga like 17, and he I think he might have even when he was 16. Maybe he did it in the So nonetheless, they try and wait till he's 18 to charge him as an adult. They're saying they, don't, they have lack of evidence. Yeah, lack of evidence, why would you drop the charges? All right. So that's what's going on with that. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's why they say... Well, like, what do you mean you have a lack of evidence? Well, like any, evidence. any, any why you decent lawyer why you should, should be able to say that. Happened? You know what I'm saying? Or why he don't got no lawyer? I don't know. I don't know the specifics. I'm just saying that's that's what it looked like. If, so, it, was, if it was a real injustice, though, somebody would step in. Like, nah, you're not about to do this to him, because they're going to look at it like a high-profile thing. Because he got one of the hottest songs out right now. Apparently, he made it on the run, though. Well. Is he still on the run? The song, you know, shit like that is The song hard. is called The Race. If y'all ain't heard it, look that shit up. It's not like he's not going to wow you no lyrics or nothing, but it's what he really doing in real life. Right, so. and that's what I was really saying. So that's really what like was going to was having shootouts and shit, and all niggas was dying left and right and all that shit, and he was putting out this type of music. And then it was new, so everybody was fucking with it real heavy, and then he started getting locked up. Yeah, yo, niggas just like shit like that. I mean, when people are talking about what they're really doing, it's just more interesting. Whether it's ignorant or not, that shit's gonna be more interesting. Speaking of uh, niggas talking about what they're doing, did we talk about Davies' album last time? Uh, Hardly. How you feel about it? I'm thinking it's funny, because every time an album comes out, I'm always liking the songs that aren't starred. The the songs that everybody likes, I guess those are the ones that end up being the ones he puts videos yeah, he out got, for first. I but think I he got two singles ones. out. I mean, two videos out. Get it on with Chris Brown. And then, uh, actually, then he got three. Because he got the... um the last one. <laughs> nah, he got the joint. Not my side. My secret. My dirty little secret. <laughs> you got a video for that? Yeah. Oh, that's my shit, though. Right. Well, people, not, people not fucking with that like that. It just people fucking with that Wiz Khalifa shit. Nah, I've been hearing that one. I've been hearing that one. That's like. the one they pushing though. What? They pushing the, uh, my dirty little secret. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's a good. They look. got a video. They keep playing it on the XM joint. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be it. Wanna be me is tough. Maneuver is tough. Found a way is tough. They need a video for Found a Way. I ought to put that out right when I put the album out. But made it like drop a little bit of money on it. You know what I'm saying? They're saying that this wasn't the album that they put a budget on. So this next album is supposed to be like the first real album that they put a yeah, budget on. Yeah, he can't on. keep saying that, bro. Bro, they, this, this is just what people that are in the industry are saying about it. They're saying that this is a good piece of work and they like what they're hearing, but they're knowing that the label didn't put money on it. Right. Because well, Jeezy was free. Them Wiz probably just did that shit. Nas did it probably on the cosign. That's that's my bro. But Nas wasn't really on it. He just talked. Word. Him and Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? 
that's bro. You, you know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Light skinned niggas unite. French, New York niggas, we let's work. Niggas unite. Harlem niggas. Like, he, <laughs> he didn't go out of circle. Right. It's well, like, he hard, no, he didn't go out of circle, bro. He's just people that he got relationships with. No, I was ready to say, it's <clears> not that you can never really say that about him, though, because he, he just. He moved the way he moved. Yeah. He moved, he moved, he moved, he moved like how you would if you was just in that situation. All right, right. So. Y'all know what you need to know? And I'm just trying to get this money. That's where you go. Yeah, so he, I, I never say I never say that about him. He said he about to have a song with Drake. I can't wait to hear that shit. Because, what, because you got paid a day? That's what I'm saying. The album, I mean, um, the, the the label will put the money down when it's, they have, like, numbers to prove that they can do it. He's, like, what, number four on, like, the chart right now? So, like, right. they're like, okay, damn, we can do it, basically. It's really like that you got to Yeah, but by, then, but by then, you, you, you don't, don't even need labels. them niggas. That's what, yeah, that's the crazy shit. shit. But with what? You going to like unsign the shit that you sign? That's how it be like that. You going to take a, your name off yeah, the Yeah, yo, if I ever get a deal like that, I'm gonna, I want that Birdman contract. I want to be able to wake up and change my shit like Birdman. Wake up and change that shit. But it's a good look, though. He better get a good percentage out of this because, you know what I'm saying, they didn't put no budget on Twitter. This should be all profit. I would ass- I would, re- I would, say I would assume it would be all profit, <clears throat> yeah. ma- mainly anyway. So that's good money. And he about to get show money. He about to, you know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to my nigga East album. Yeah. Who album came out? Or who's... Uh, extension. I ain't even listen to it, but it's on my shit. And uh, Lil Uzi Vert, his shit is tough. Lil Uzi shit is okay. The, the couple songs I like, I really like them. So yeah. Yeah, it was just, it's, a, it's a couple songs. Wonder why he got named name in 444 plus 222. Though. Like, it's just annoying. He's just doing a lot. <laughs> He's just doing too much. He, he, that's yeah. He's just doing. I like, that song, so I'm like, damn, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't, can't rename this bitch on my phone. You heard this shit before he got uh, signed. Like you can actually understand it, nigga. He actually had bars. He um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was like rapping. You know what I'm saying? He's actually rapping and shit. But he, he doing this rock star shit. I ain't mad at what he's doing. I was ready. He like he like a baby Wayne, yo. He like if Wayne could have did that. I feel like that's what Wayne That's what he do. was trying to do. Wayne was trying to do what he Right, was that's what I was trying to say. If Wayne had... But Wayne was such a rap star at the time, it was impossible to get Wayne away from rap. Everybody needed a verse from Wayne. Yeah. Wayne was like Superman. Please get Wayne on his remix. Please get Wayne on his verse. And it, uh, it was T. Wayne for real. T. Payne. <laughs> I hated them niggas, yo, but they made some really good songs. They were on everything. <clears throat> they was the original Drake and, uh, <laughs> Drake and French. I feel like Wayne didn't get his shine until the block is hot. That was his... Like his first, basically. Around the first. Yeah, that's, he was that was, only- that's not... A bad thing. That means he's been off for damn near 20 years. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, I feel like that's when he finally got his shine. Because at first, he was with the group. I feel like they just ain't let him do his thing. Who was the group? The Hot Boys? Yeah, the Hot Boys. I See, mean, Juvie was the great back then. They, they called him Juvie Great. He was their niggas at the time. Juvie was not that nice to me, neither. He was. He didn't have to be, though. They was, they was getting money, bro. They was pushing I, him. I never was, understood it. And they were selling Juvie was Tony Yeo, but Tony Yeo made it. I mean, like, but if Tony Yeo made it, though. They yeah. both looked old yeah. at, like, 20. <laughs> How old is Tony Yeo, yo? How much is that? Is that, like, 50 big homie? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. probably new. Or is he, like, 50's man? He's, like, his man's, like, that's, like, a little older than him. Who knows, bro, but... Tony Yeo looked like he was 40 back then. <laughs> Didn't he, though? Yeah. Right, man, shit. He just came home type shit. Like, <laughs> and man, Hell Bro, Hell Bro. He never shook off that thinner. Hell Bro looked the same way. Yeah, you can't go to right Any niggas off big drugs, though. In the BG, they was off a lot of drugs. That's why it was like that. Shut up the niggas that choose being a crackhead in real life. I'll never understand it. But, you know, I ain't never had that feeling. Apparently, uh, I take over all your pleasure senses, hmm. so I guess I can imagine why I want you to do that shit, but, you know, I see niggas suck dick for burgers, I guess, on TV. 
They did. They did. Minnesota I drank the juice in the head. <laughs> so, you know, clearly that came from some type of inspiration. <laughs> and just make it up. Is Khaled's run over? Is what? Khaled's run over? Hell no. Nah. He's a number three on the board right now. This Wild Thought shit? I mean, Wild Thoughts? He's in Wild Thoughts. That song is still top ten right now, but nah, I'm talking about the album. That shit is still like... Is he gold yet? I don't know. Khaled got money, though. He, he got ideas. He got projects. He got people that... Yo, I said that because I'm tired of him. I'm really, really, really tired. It was a joke at first, like I was tired of him, and now I'm really tired of him. Because I, I, I remember being tired of him in Florida. He yelled out, we the best in a long time. Yeah, he got different shit. He did the keys thing. Another one. Yeah, yeah the keys, keys and another the one. The keys was the best thing he ever did, because at that point, he took over the whole internet for a little bit. Like, he, just, he could not talk about DJ Khaled. If you were talking about anything that was going on with any music shit, because he was just he was doing something, something funny, or it's like a kid, or I don't even think well, y'all think he was trying to be funny, or was that him, you know? What when he was responding to his own? When he was doing like, I think it was a little bit look of at the that. flowers. The flowers are from God, and they bloom and they're beautiful. I love really, you, tree. That was probably really young. Bro, niggas be high, bro. This yeah, that's what I was gonna say shit. too. Yo, what is he high from on, yo? Like, like, no. Like, Money probably rolled a J with a right, hundred right, dollar man. bill. Smoke some of the chemicals. <laughs> uh, the niggas got money. They can say whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, niggas act like they're not allowed to be happy and shit. Let that nigga be happy, bro. Fuck it. Why you gotta have a reason anyway? To just be like my life to, to, shit. <laughs> to love the truth. Oh, well, okay. I didn't. I didn't look at it as him pretty much stunting. I just looked at it as him being retarded. A nigga shaped like an awkward, awkward person. And still, <laughs> and still hit somebody like, got that little kid. Like he walked. Like he got music when he walked. Walk, 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 walk. Shout out to Khaled, though, yo. Nah, I still don't like that nigga because I... I don't... Nah, yo. You just shot him out and pull it back? Yeah, I took it back. <laughs> he gave me that. I still think he's annoying. Yo, he's been annoying for too long and I can't deal with it no more. I don't what? Deal with it no more. Even Bow Wow went away. Oh no, <laughs> don't pull him in the category. <laughs> I'm just saying, yo, after a little bit, niggas have to be tired. Niggas not tired of Khaled. He like cargo shorts. <laughs> that'd be that'd be an end to it, son. As long as you charting, yeah. you're gonna get money. He's still producing good music. Bow Wow not doing shit. Right. Don't pull that nigga. Well, I did do something recently though. He was on uh, Juice of America. That's a good look. He posted a he posted a me a picture for yep. uh, for Texas. It was like this. He held up the uh, the Houston sign. The nigga was like, "Fuck that's supposed to do for him." <laughs> Fuck that, <dude. laughs> Everybody was donating money. This nigga sending pictures. Don't want that. Nigga was donating seven mil. This nigga donated, seven mil. This nigga donated a me. Hey, Beyonce lit, yo. But I would expect her. To do some shit like that. She better. Some it. chill shit. She got it. Dude. But that's some chill shit, though. So, well, actually, I don't know, yo. Let me not act like Beyonce got 500 million. Because 7 million, I guess, is a lot of bread. That's a lot. Could you lose it? She probably had her way of making it back, too. Like the whole Walmart said, you donate a dollar, we'll match. She probably put that shit through. She probably only donated 35. Yeah, it said it was uh, between no. her and her foundation, like, came See, or some shit like that. They matched it. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Beyonce for the trick. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you're a super conspiracy theorist. Oh, nice. You don't let nobody live. Nope. Niggas say, I don't let nobody live. It's an answer to <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's an answer to everything. She, never let she sold a couple live. shirts. And, See, she on her shirt right there. Jesus. That's oh, not look, see, wrong so person. Like, How y'all feel about Kylie? Who? Kylie. <laughs> I heard you. Why the fuck she was like Beyonce from this angle? Does she? Yeah, I'm a sorry, lot of it. But this is not Beyonce. Okay, alright. No, I see it now. I see it. No. I see it. No. I see it. No. I see it. No. That's the look she was going for. <laughs> she won't be everybody, not she gonna be a leader. Mm mm. She like Drake. Oh, her and Drake should be together. Come on, man. 
Yo, that'll be that'll be the ultimate like it's only gonna last two weeks. Yeah, that'll be cool though. That that's all they need. I feel like that'll be Drake's best look. <laughs> Real rap. Just for a little bit though, just to say. Yeah, I mean we we done with we Serena. The most richest niggas in the world. Yeah, she just had a baby. Oh, he about a white dude, right? Yeah, yo, um, can I can I say that she couldn't handle a strong black man. There no. you go. Why? Why don't we ever get to say the shit that y'all get to say? Say it. Say it loud and proud. Eh. <laughs> huh? Say why it. can't we ever get to say it? Uh-huh. Yeah, I could, if we it's wear sweats, y'all could dick check us. But if y'all wear like a shirt Bikini. with no bra on and y'all nipples is hard, and we just so happen to glance, see through we shirt, perverts. But you ain't even. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even come outside with a bra on. <laughs> Like, what you think was going to happen? <laughs> but it's okay for y'all to post on Twitter, like, if a nigga come out with some great sweats, girl, y'all get <laughs> y'all get likes, loves, and everything. Like, God damn. Why is it okay? Can y'all explain? Okay. I'm trying to understand. The mind of a woman. No one can ever help me. I'm all ears. <laughs> y'all say we don't understand y'all so here I am trying to understand why communication. y'all act right yeah communication is key I'm just trying to understand why women don't think like that though like she probably got with him because she liked him not because he was weak yeah huh about that. I'm back to Syria. that's called I know diver- that that's called diverting it's not cause he has one question okay. she jumped back <laughs> It's oh, not no, I know what she I caught it at the end. So she didn't get with him because he was white. She got with him because she liked him. Yeah. Like, why can't that be? Because she because went... women be also posing, girl, I'm done with these niggas. I'm about to give me a white yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, we say niggas ain't shit a lot, but I mean. Can I throw an answer in why? Know? To that I answer to that question. Why not? Because she went from being with Drake in this show period of time. You can go from being and with French. Some, you can go from being with somebody to being with somebody. You can even take it further and go to being with somebody else. This nigga went from being and with Kami. somebody to being with somebody and having a whole family. That's an add water. And Kami, I remember he started beefing with Kami over Serena. Had a whole family by the dude. That's just add water. That's an instant family. So you went from <laughs> being with this dude Drake to just being with another dude and you got a kid about him. Damn. That's yeah, a she lot. was just she with Drake. That's a lot. Drake was just at one of the little appearances, <laughs> real shit, lot. and then like a week. You know what, woman, y'all scandalous. Y'all didn't even shot that out. That's so old. Nah, that was old. old. Yeah, remember Drake pretty much sniped that, and that was so that was the beef. That was the state scheme. Mm. It's not even that she's pregnant with a kid. She's had the kid. That's not. She just months. had the kid. She just had the baby too. But like that's yesterday. So when was she with Drake? Well, Remember when she played? Ago? Yeah, right. When she played, <laughs> that's what she I'm was. Saying. They found out she was a little bit pregnant. And <laughs> right. right. Yeah, That's what remember, I'm like, I, don't, I don't want to throw a number out there. She was a little bit pregnant. Clearly, she was good enough to play. So, her whole Pre- relationship pregnant. with the new dude, she was pregnant. No, no, no. She probably was for like six months and then got pregnant. No, 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 no. She was pregnant. Six months. Right six months ago, she was definitely with Drake, though. But then, those six months, she was with Drake. So, unless first time he hit, first time he caught the body. No condom. That was wagon. Rebound, white boy. But, boom, wow. you got a kid. Yeah, rebound pilgrim dick. Got a baby off of him. Yo, I'm mad. Yo, Serena was supposed to be a strong black men like Drake. You know, that's, probably, that's probably the answer why common. when a white woman be with. How do you, how you be feeling when you see a, a black woman with a white dude? I wish y'all honest opinion. Who, me? Yeah. Or anybody, anybody. <laughs> I don't care. Everything in this funny. I ain't opposite when you see a black dude with a white. You know, out here it's different because you see the black dude with a sloppy jalopy pilgrim white joint. You know, they just went for the money, <laughs> some food or a place to stay. But when you see a <laughs> when you see a black woman with a white dude, that's how I be thinking. Like, damn, she can't handle. Us. I was like, what the fuck? Last oh, you be offended? Yeah, I don't be. Yeah. I'm probably I'm usually not attracted to those type of women anyway. Most of the time I'm offended because it'd be a joke that I'm peeping. I'm probably right right. For real? Too. And then I find I've never out, been in that situation. I'd be like, fuck. I've never man. seen like a super bad joint like this. Like, yeah, I have. I'm like, yo, you like, like, uh, can't. Like, she don't even really do her hair. Okay, I see why he bagged her. Oh, it'd be them natural hair joints that be with the white. A lot of them. <laughs> no, nah, I don't really want to say natural hair joints, but like. 
It's more than hair, but I was just throwing that out there. Yeah, she just looked like yeah. I know she her grandmother said. a little bit. I can't, I can't, I can't be with a white with a white girl because she don't really shave her legs. We can't relate. Our first argument, she gonna call me a nigga. I'm not a bunch of chops. Damn, I don't think they do that though. Yo. I bet you the white boys with these black women. I bet you she let her. She be like, call me nigga. <laughs> I bet you. No I bet she yo, so. come I'm, choke me and call me nigga. Tell me what's going on. That gotta be a fantasy. <laughs> you funny as that shit. That gotta be a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> that whole Tommy up should be taken to a whole other level. <laughs> you can't have no sex toys. You can't have no handcuffs, no whips if you in a in a racial relationship. It just don't Why? Because nah, it don't seem shit, right. Because you scared right. that. Oh, so it don't look right. right. It don't look right. right. <laughs> You scared something like that, right? Hey, yep. Flashbacks and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Revert and start hanging, nigga. It, it can't be done. <laughs> That's for my family. <laughs> <laughs> for a hundred years. <laughs> Hung up with my son, man. Nah, that's sick, yo. It's terrible, man. It's crazy. I've been watching too much song and shit. An interracial relationship would not go right for me. That's I'm saying. Nah, bro. Honestly, bro. Why? I can, I can respect people that feel like that at the same time. I don't. I don't know. Everybody's preferences are preferences. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that. I don't got. I don't really care too much about other people. You gotta accept that shit. Oh yeah, I accept it. I ain't against it. It hit. Me. What if your son bring home a, uh, a white girl, girl from West Virginia, though? Not just a regular one. <laughs> he said not a regular. He said because I know what they be doing out there. <laughs> So you know her cousin's her brother. Damn. So you, that's really, it's a plus because you really only fighting like three niggas when she bring her whole family. Well, what would I do? Honestly, West Virginia got that whole situation where you ain't got to show proof of uh, experience with a weapon. Bring me a gun or two. And if anything get out of hand, we bust them. That means they got guns too, though. That's why Just I got guns too. Here. Yeah, that, I ain't going out without one. I ain't bringing a knife to a gunfight. Um, would I be upset? I mean, I'll educate him. What you gonna say? The fuck is wrong with you, cuz? Damn, just like that? DC in opposite direction. You ain't never decided to go that way? Baltimore? That's white girl out there. I'm gonna make sure you got What if she like a black white girl? Nah, ain't no such thing. But you know what I mean. That's called a perpetrator. I don't like that. Okay, shit. okay. I hate right. that shit. We always hated that shit. Alright, but I, I think it's funny now. I think they do it. You wanna hit Iggy Azalea? When the hell has she been relevant last? You must ain't been on Instagram. Right. Nah. <laughs> well, you might want to get on there. But yeah, uh, I was told I had to get off. <laughs> All right. Well, whoa, okay. That's not the law I you know. I but... would. Oh, that's not deactivated. But now nah, I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's not white? I don't, what is she? Yeah, I mean, you about to be a perpetrator, yo. She is. Why? Cause you just oh you saying she's a you were fuck, no you are because you would fuck your son up if he had a white girl but you had you said from West Virginia but he can have a regular white girl how long has got to last he marry her <laughs> <laughs> he better eat a man he show. might marry her we don't ever know I can't control that hey, if, it's on her head game like my man Jimmy said I mean I accept it all I know is I'm not going to her crib for Thanksgiving I don't want no Yankees from over there <laughs> I don't want no chicken. I'm not bringing the extra. <laughs> Don't order me chitlins. <laughs> I'm just saying, yo, it's not the same, yo. Our, our culture is different. I can understand. You see, you feel what, me? What, like you said in the beginning, food right, is well, a, wait, Would it not be the same if you must with like a girl from like another culture, like a. That's lit. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I was specifically talking like, about white people, but uh, yeah, I'd definitely go out the culture. Puerto Rican, I mean that's the same. Puerto Rican, Spanish, Brazilian. Well, Puerto Rican more black. That's why I said it is. But same Cuban thing. more white. Cubans more white. Yeah, they be like blonde hair, blue eyed Cubans. Oh shit, I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't have to see them. But my whole specifics was on the pilgrims. That's where I was at with it. Yeah, but so what if she was Cuban and you ain't even know? Oh, with a white girl? Yeah. Then I'd be ashamed of myself. 
<laughs> I would have I would have thought to ask more questions. So you fake racist? You just don't like white oh, people? Oh no, I ain't, I ain't, we can't even be racist. I ain't racist. Yo, I ain't, what niggas say that? Why you can't be racist? I don't like Chinese people. I'm <laughs> Why you don't like Chinese people? They had the same struggle we did. They did? Yeah, they just a little smarter about it. What? No. How they not? I don't. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like Chinese people because of work, yo. <laughs> what you mean? What Them you niggas mean? come in there. Oh, you talking about your job? Yo. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh. Yo, them niggas come in there and act like they mad at me because I can't understand them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what's the year make and no, what's the year make a model of your car? Tell them right the them niggas say yes <laughs> to everything, <laughs> yo. It don't even matter. He know, yo. Yes. Nah, but then you just gotta pull out a. Uh, I'm pad. not doing all that, yo. Yeah, I pull out a pen and pad. Yeah, listen, write it down. I promise you, you one thing, though. What, what I promise you, you one thing. If I call to order some food, you'll understand every fucking thing I said, my nigga. Right. I can even say it in all day. I can say it in an Atlanta slang, and you'll understand me. You look like I was laughing, baby. <laughs> you feel five me? Dollar, five dollars. <laughs> five dollars, nigga. You got the lunch special. When I go there to get their nails done, when I go get y'all nails done, they understand y'all. Yeah, y'all don't understand them. No, I ain't no tricks. Yeah, we cool. Really. We go to eat after and everything. She not Chinese. She's Vietnamese, so is mine. They so Asian. they don't speak in their in language? their language. They do. Yeah, they talking about you. No, they're not. I really doubt it. <laughs> Real shit? Like yes, they do. So? Real shit? Not? Yes, they do. Why not? If you they could, do. what are you? Don't you do that if you had you, know. you have no fucking idea what so, I'm saying? So I work Me? with some people. For one, I do it with my friends. I throw shots, I throw I say shit that people wouldn't understand with my friends. And okay. I ain't doing nobody now. So I be working with people that speak different languages, one of them being some of them Asian uh languages and went with this girl Missy up in there. They was straight, they was real out talking about her, women that came before, women that was coming in. As far as what I was told, and this person could translate like that. So, yeah, I would say, yeah, they do. I would say, yeah, they be talking about that. That's cool, yo. That's well, all it good. Then, I guess. Huh? I said it happens then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't care either. Really as long as they do. But I don't like, I'm racist, yeah. though. I don't like Chinese people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, black people can be racist. How so? Because I'm racist against a race of Chinese I, that's people. That's not racist. Nigga. You just don't like them. Is that them. not a race? No, nah, you just said you don't like them and you gave a reason <laughs> why. That's... I don't like certain people. And white people don't like us because they don't want us here, nigga. That's that's racist. We ain't got nothing to do with that. How you going to bring him here? Got to... He don't have nothing to do with How much? How, how I'm going to put a leash around your neck, pull you over here, and say, fuck from around here. I just brought you over here. How you going to pull up on my block and we can't afford rent, but you got Chinese food? <laughs> what, what the what? fuck from out here? Say it again. How you going to pull up on my block, niggas can't afford rent, and you selling Chinese food? Cause they got your the people's out here shit. eating. You, right. you got that. You got a Chinese food and a cleaners next to. That's what I meant by they smart. Like that's, that's what I was meant by they smarter though. They do the ten thousand dollars for the business and they got to bring what a million dollars back. That's what all of them do. The beauty shop, the nail shop, the Chinese. Damn, shop. Put that's 10 G's into God, it. damn. That's why all damn, of them work. On, and they pull a million back. That's not a. That's not a. Uh, that's not worth it. That's not a good deal. They what send the it back fuck? to their family back in uh, China. Hey, yo, hear what I'm talking. I got to send you back a mill out of... You just giving me 10 bands, bro. Do you understand how much you want me to multiply that by? A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they be living good out in, out, out in Asia, though. They live you be great. broke for like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> they all live together, yo. It ain't like they really eating as much off Chinese food, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they go yeah, They not listen. Them. I'm sure they're not millionaires. Of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know how many of them it is? They all related. We just been real. Though. <laughs> <laughs> they all related. Hell yeah. Yo, y'all niggas are racist. <laughs> Yo, it'd be a beauty shop here, a beauty shop there. I nah, only, only round the way, yo. Only round the way. But yeah, that's a trick. Everybody get yeah. 10 bands and put it together. Now it's got to come from each establishment. And they send that shit back. Right, but what I'm saying is everybody gets in bands and put it together. For the shop? Yeah. Yeah, yo. Because without it, we're going to be broke for it. But either way, though, if everybody got sent back to... Oh, it's only for the, the spot? For each establishment, yeah. 
And you know how much a million gonna cost? Because we the biggest. No, consumers. nigga, no, it's not. It's, it's not gonna wait. happen that fast. You know how many women go get their nails done? Two of them right here. Mm-hmm. How Hair often done. do y'all go? How often do you go? Um, On a schedule. Two, yeah, Every two, two weeks. weeks. See? Yeah. yeah. They know when they expect that shit. All y'all, you come. Is it really, I, 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 it's come real rap. rap. Is it really like a. <laughs> A super busy nail salon that you can't get into. If the nail salon ain't busy, the beauty salon is. If the beauty salon is, I know your ass hungry. <laughs> and mama's salon right up the street. She gonna feed you. They all got that shit. And the private liquor store around the corner. They, that that shit on. too. Yep. Looking at us, <laughs> looking at us wrong for one day. Feel something. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's why they all pull up the Lexuses and. So what, what do you think it is? Like a, like a ten year plan there? Yeah, that's you, not bad at all. Ten year plan? It's not. If you send back, you said how much? I think it's a million. million. Yeah. No, man, that's not a good deal, man. Hundred thousand dollars a year, my nigga? You fucking crazy? I got a gift to somebody. To your family, and I think they swap out. Yeah. That is that shit, nigga. That's like, yo, if my child support was a hundred thousand dollars a year. But you you think about just you? You got to think about all the people that you go home with at the end of the night. That's all in that same store with you. All you ever been to the? I know you've been. Yeah, I also got to pay these niggas too. You have been to the Chinese store and you see like seven of them Let's in not there. forget that I have to pay these niggas and I have to pay my bills and I have to pay for this building also. They all live together. All of them. They're not really Mexicans. <laughs> Yo. It's only really like five of them. You That's like a lot. mom, dad, and two kids, maybe three. They only spend Damn, like... why are we here so in depth? All right, but look, <laughs> even way is too much bread, yo. You I would do it? You would do it? I would. Ten thousand for a million in ten years. It might not be ten years. One. Maybe it's like I think it's one year. One year. One year. One year. We the biggest. Is consumers. this the Ozark? Nigga, we are the biggest consumers. You know how much a liquor store brings in <laughs> in one weekend? <laughs> a lot. You know how, how much do it cost though? What? You got yo shit still costs. There ain't nothing free. It's not, but we give so much. Then niggas tip. Why you think ain't no millionaires really all selling weed, but everybody smoke weed? Oh, it, this uh, this probably it probably was, but they can't be on the line. Like Frank Lucas went down the next name. There's plenty of liquor stores, my nigga. What my mean? point? What? Just one nigga really ain't eating. Mm-hmm. How? The same reason <laughs> that everybody smoke weed, like everybody drink liquor. Yeah, but one ain't is nobody a, rich. But one is legal shit. and one's not. So really, it's more profit than weed. You said liquor stores ain't rich. The pe- the owners of them, the brands, the people that got sellers up in the mountain, up in the hills, Beverly Hills, those well, were Captain Morgan's and them niggas live up there. The niggas that own the shit is rich. Yeah, but I'm not talking about the niggas that own Tom's. The niggas from Tom's live in Seven Oaks. Well, like Tom's liquor store. Yes, in the hills. No, he's not. Where he at? I just told you. Seven Oaks. Yes. That nigga that owns that store is oh he's oh they own and they own like four I'm talking stores. about the brand of liquor, those niggas that that's distributed to a, a wide. Well, wide yeah, them niggas is another ball. Nah, selling liquor is a, is a very profitable right. price. It is, it is. Think about it. 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 Think Cases of any shit, if you get it for X amount of dollars, who knows, or five hundred dollars for a crate or some shit, mm-hmm. like bro. And by the time you start selling them shits for at least a hundred, you know what I'm saying, like in a club environment, bro, the money, that shit is. That's club, what I said. Right? The club with a bar, places with a bar. So imagine the flip, and not the liquor store. On a retail, it's like selling, it's like selling shirts bulk versus like one by one. Right. You make more money one by one. Exactly. The liquor store sells them one by one. But they get it for the low. They get yeah, it for the yeah, plug man. price. They get the plug price and then sell it for the, the medium price. Not like the club. I ain't giving you $100. You don't got to pay me $100 for the dumb little rosé. You can get it for 50 60 But I got it for 10 20 That's a good markup, bro. That's a great markup. That's killing clothes. And you can't change your mind once you buy liquor. You can't return it. Word. You cannot take that shit back. A shirt, if it costs you two fifty for a shirt and like a dollar an ink, all right, so three fifty for a shirt, that's what it really costs you, and it might cost you a little bit of time other than that. So you might sell it for twenty five, so you really probably get twenty one, twenty two dollars. Nah, nigga with a bottle, a henny, if you got it for like 
10, 15, 20 dollars per bottle. Yeah, that's so if 50, nigga, you made 40 dollars off each one. I don't feel like they living for that cheap, though. Bro, I'm Maybe. just saying, these are not factual numbers, but that's the way I'm looking at the math. Whatever they are, it can't be too the real. The real thing would be a club or a bar. But well, where do you think they get the liquor from? Yeah, paying thirty dollars for it and where charging niggas ten dollars for though? three shots. I mean, ten dollars for a shot and three shots. The, the bottle's paid for, and it's a lot more than half left. I don't know. Man. All I know is any liquor plug I ever knew, the niggas used to be like, "What you mean? Like I gotta go to the store and get it?" Like my man worked, like you get right. Like yeah, that. but it's like, usually you know about like, half. It's down the chain, bro. I feel like you're not respecting the top level of that chain. They get money, bro. They they might be off some humble shit, but they get money. I, I gotta look it up now. Something to look up. So you just kind of speculate. Trying to figure out what the best move is to make bread. Toilet paper. <laughs> you stupid. Everybody, Everybody do gotta take a shit. Go. Charmin making it. They don't even gotta make commercials no more. <laughs> See, you think they had to let you know that this is what you need right here? Nah, niggas they still know. do make uh, commercials. Just they pee and say they got the softest <laughs> shit. They doing that shit for fun. <laughs> they don't have to tell nobody that you need to wipe your ass. You stupid, yo. <laughs> or you get paint shoes. Everybody wearing shoes and we the biggest consumers. I know there's one, I mean, I don't know him personally, but I know this one dude paint uh, Jordans and all that stuff for like 350 Niggas be buying them Jones. He got some mean ass cars, like the latest Audi. I think he got a lifted Jeep, his crib, tough as shit. I'm about to go to Joanne's and buy some shoe paint. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't mind. Yo, stupid. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, stupid as shit. Yo. I got pictures of some shit right here. I'm trying to do it. Hey, yo, why the fuck? Yo, I think uh, Kelly finally about to go to jail, yo. Again, nah, he ain't go last time. Nah, shout out, you know, on the low, secretly shout out my man like him because he be beating trial too. Though. He really, I don't like them joints. I don't like Jordans no more. I just wear them joints till they dead. Real shit, I don't like Jordans no more. I'm really just trying to kill him. He be doing like designs and shit, yeah. The thing is, people be buying these. That's nah, the niggas will buy them. He's if definitely he popular yeah. enough. The people would definitely buy. You know what I'm saying? Four point five thousand reactions. I believe it. One point nine thousand reactions for white ones. All from people that saying, "Yo, can you make me these?" He, they gotta get them first, though. He'll get them. Cause Where he, you? he know it's less of a uh, problem if he gets it. Now, or rather than waiting, yeah, but trying to get them shoes the ain't easy to get. Is what I'm trying he, to tell you. Like he said, he probably got that hookup. He probably know somebody that got dead style hookup. He gonna work it, work it into the price, bro. If you want that money, you gonna make it happen. Yeah, you gonna have to. <laughs> you gonna work that it should into be the price. too much. <laughs> she was selling the white ones for one ninety two. That's such an odd number. They ain't real. No, well, the dude that I know was selling for three fifty. Does he do a volume though? Does he do like a lot of shit, or does he just do like real custom and tax thing? Yeah, I think he's real custom and tax. One ninety, and you gotta bring your own shoe. And I'm assuming cause well, that was the one on that picture. Ain't no way you could get. Ain't no way you could get any of them joints. You can't even get them before you get to paint them for one ninety. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, two forty at the taxes. Well, that was whoever that one was. Oh, it, did, it did say it was on sale, yeah. but the dude I was talking to selling for three fifty. This is nigga right here. Call himself Nike Mikey one. I don't know, yo. Yeah, I don't be right. trying. Wait. Oh, the Redskins finally scored? That's just yeah, their second. Oh, no, nah, that's the Bucks. So, 6-6. Six, six. Oh, yeah, I kicked twice? Y'all yeah, trash, yo. <laughs> Told you. I can't wait to beat y'all niggas this season. Y'all already did. I'm not even. It's okay, though. Can't wait to see what uh, Brandon Marshall does. He fake hurt already. Got hurt, fake hurt preseason. For real? Mm-hmm. Him and uh, Victor, I mean, back in the hurt the same name. I think it was his shoulder. But he always hurt, though. He don't care. He like, uh, what's my nigga from the rest? I mean, like the Hellboys. So he's hurt. That's Brad. 
Niggas usually hurt for about four or five games and shit. The barbershop the other night when I was trying to get a cut, yo, nigga said, LeVar agreed with me. The nigga Travis said, Kyrie is the reason they won the game. Everybody else said, LeBron Black is the reason they won that game. Because it's either being down six, no, being down four, or... Being down two, come back. Now, actually, it was down three, wasn't it? So he was about to be down five. He came back and hit the three. So he was down five, or you, you know, about to be honestly, down? Honestly, I don't remember it play by play, but I don't look at sports like that. I don't look at basketball like that. Because you don't lose and win a game on the last play. It's not being real. He being real. Kyrie was the, the reason that they won the games they won because he just was going the fuck off throughout the game. And especially in the fourth quarters. Not in the very last seconds in particular, but they wouldn't even have been within three or two or four or five or maybe even six points if he wasn't doing what he was doing. Yo. If he was knocking down some of those threes that were like double team or like off screens or like creating for somebody else and then fuck, I got it back, so I'm I'm just going to jack this. I've been feeling it. He was splashing from everywhere. Buddy. What you think he going to do in Boston? Uh, I can't even call it because he got a different makeup of the team. He got Gordon Hayward, who's not like a selfish player, but is a very good two slash three. He's tough as shit. He got uh, Al Horford. I don't know. He got weapons. He's going to be showing exactly what I've been telling niggas for years. Oh, he got one of the uh, twins. One of the Morris bros. Yep. He's going to show what I've been telling niggas for years. That he's not a leader. And he's overrated. <clears throat> he can score, but a lot of niggas can score. Give me Monte. Give me it. give me Monte Ellis, a young Monte over Kyrie, man. He hasn't had it. Straight yet. like that. He had LeBron James on his team. Why are you talking about he's not a leader? I mean, he had they was they won 23, 28 in like thirty games before LeBron got there. He was there all three of the years. He played like half the time. He was out for he, he, he only really missed one. A couple games here and there in the other season. But that twenty eight, that's unacceptable. You ain't missed that many games, man. You ain't you only have shit. You ain't only played twenty three games. You didn't have shit. And he was pressing the league. Alright. You know we got that dog, man. He ain't got that dog in him. Just like I always said about Melo. He ain't got that killer in him. Yeah, like, you don't be watching the game. I can't talk to him. I can't talk to him. What you mean? Not, not what he do on the court, nigga. Niggas can score you in the league because you can score, but you got to make niggas better. You don't make nobody better. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who he make better? Even when, on a team where two point guard, him and LeBron being a point guard would have been the perfect team. It should have been a perfect team. But he's not a point guard. He's really a scorer. A he on the Barnes team was a downside. That's why he want to leave. All right, yo. Telling you it's not going to work. What the fuck? Why did he take the touchdown away? From the Bucks score. Yeah. You know, they, they touched him. He was down. He, he like, they challenged it. His fingertip touched him. Oh, why? Uh, before he got it for him. Oh, why? Uh, I ain't even fucking know. Yeah, you gotta go back and watch the games, yo. Nah, yo. Kyrie's overrated. And that's it. When he go and he like Melo, just like niggas love to give Melo, I mean, he can score. Yeah. But he don't mean nobody around him better. Just like Kyrie. You can't depend on that, man. You need all five niggas to win. Not just a nigga dropping buckets. He can't score 106 points. Neither could Kobe. And he had to learn that, though. And when he had bum ass teams, he had bum ass records. Stop acting like that wasn't. Nah. Listen, man. It's the longest we ever missed the playoffs. 
We hardly missed the playoffs when Kobe was there. I think we missed it like twice, three times, most. But I think twice. So Kobe's allowed to miss it three times for Kyrie was. Kyrie he in the West. Kyrie been to the finals a few times. I'm just saying. He in the West. And he went because of LeBron. So he all, he went because of LeBron, and that's why also why he didn't have to be a leader. Because of LeBron. He wasn't a leader when he, he was. Like he he wasn't a leader outside. there. He wasn't a leader at Duke. He didn't even play. You didn't even know that he didn't play. I told you that. Basically. Nah, everybody know he didn't play. Everybody know he didn't play. That was a big deal of him coming out. Then you act like you didn't know that he didn't play when he first came to the league. He had the same. Ain't that I didn't know, nigga. It's same that, syndrome. No, it counts. As, as it counts. Curry. He's in the league, bro. He had the same syndrome as Curry as far as not being Yeah, nigga, it counts, yo. Now that they both healthy, they both prime. It's just they had the same thing. It Curry, counts. Curry wasn't dominant when he came to the league. He was scoring a lot of points, though. <laughs> he ain't playing a... Uh... Yeah, he came in the league. He played a few games. He got hurt. Second year. Still ain't make nobody better. He wasn't really that hurt. Third year, really wasn't even that hurt either. So, I mean, Curry was hurt. Them Curry was really hurt his three years. Ain't the same thing, yo. He don't make niggas better. We gonna see though. I tell you.